Welcome back to BS and Bubblegum. On today's episode, we're playing Candy Scabs. Now you might say, hey, this art style is familiar. Well, let me tell you this. It's made by the same developer of a game that we all love, The Coffin of Andy and Lele. The story in this game is that you play as a little demon on a quest for candy for his hive mother. This thing, ew, it's gross, get, get it, it out, out of, of my sight. And as he goes through a portal to the human realm, he gets lost from his brother and meets the most kind-hearted, most understanding human on the planet. And it's up to you to choose how you react to a friendship between a true demon and an innocent human. But don't forget your mission either. BSNB now is a Discord, so click the link in the description and join today. Welcome to another name lay game. We're BS and Bubblegum and we're playing Candy Scabs. But you already knew that because you clicked on this video. This is Aaron, our editor, and sometimes resident people who play the game with us. Hi, I'm also here. Liz is still here. No, she's not my sister. Yeah, Liz, Liz is here like every single time. Liz is here, and although our Discord said we were siblings, we are canonically not. What are you talking about? They like Andy and Lele a little bit too much. The I, We're getting married, and apparently we're siblings You'll now. You'll never know. Anyway, let's continue on. This is this is Candy Scabs, a game made by Namele, who made uh, Andy and Lele. The marriage siblings. The, you know, the number one game on our channel right now. By a very the, large just get into margin. It. Just get into Thank the you game. guys so much for that, by the way. It's the same thing every year. Oh. oh. You're, You're all, all invited. invited. Oh shit! I thought. Oh, I was gonna take. Oh, I thought we were all boys. gonna do it at the same time. Oh, we can do that. Let's do it, everybody. It's, it's my birthday. birthday. You're, You're all invited. invited. You're, You're all invited, invited and, and you will bring me candy and, and presents. And, and if, if you, you don't, don't, I'll kill, kill you. you. And, and I'll, I'll roast you, and I'll, I'll eat you, and I'll spit you out, because you taste bad anyway. Cat, can you not? He's gotta take a shit while we're recording. That was what the Void announced. And the Void ebbs absolute. Alright, who's gonna be, uh, Slaw? Who's Slow? Slow? Sloth? Sloth? I can't sloth. tell which sloth. one's talking. I think the one on the right is the one talking. Ah! <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> no, I uh, like that. I, I like that. Uh, Wimpy, yes, let's go with that. I don't have any candy. Me neither. And I ain't got the slightest clue what I'd, what I'd want as a present. Maybe more candy? Good luck with that. Ah, uh, what are we gonna do? Calm down, that's what. And after that, we'll drop by the human world to get some candy. But what about the present? Listen, Sloaf. Wait, listen, Sloth. Sloth. Shut the fuck up, Eskar. My name is pronounced Sloth. Like trough. Eschar. Yeah, Eschar. <laughs> Eschar. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I thought it was Esker. The human world basically has everything anyway. If we're ever going to... It's okay, Eskar. <laughs> if we're ever going to find a good present, it'll be there. Right. You're right. <laughs> You're so smart, Eskar. I'm not smart, you're just dumb. Hey! Screw you! Which part is the hat? Which <laughs> part is the face? <laughs> so you ready to go yet? Or do you want to sit here and cry some more? He's I wanna cry! Obviously. But we should go. Are they like demon people? Asgard opens the portal! Hmm. Oh shit, that's you. Hmm. What? See, it's not just me. It's not just me and Andy and Lily. He does it too. Something is wrong with the portal. Oh, that figures. Looks like it's a bit over capacity. I guess that means everyone else went to get candy too. Is it Halloween? Is it why? Yeah, I doubt there will be anything left for us in the big cities. I knew it. We're gonna die. The void will kill us and roast us and eat us and, and then it'll spit us all out because we taste bad anyway. Roll credits. Man, I'm getting so sick of so sick of all your negativity all the time. Oh, sorry. Let me try that again. Yeah, yes. Oh yeah. Woohoo! We're going to die. Best day ever. 
Wait, I think I found something. There's a good amount of candy in this remote location. So, there's candy for us over there? Even though that's what you just fucking said? Yes, maybe not as much as in the big cities. But given that everyone is going to the cities, this might actually be better. We will be the only ones in this backwater town, and we'll get all the candy there. Yes, Hold I knew you'd figure minute. something out for us. Do you see that, like, shop in the background? Uh-huh. That's 100% the clothes shop from Andy and Lele. I'd say that's 90% the clothes shop from Andy and Lele. Anyways, Eskar, you mind uh, giving me that uh, little bandana you got on there? Can I uh, see what's behind it? You're so smart and wonderful and kind and just the best. Correct. Wow, <laughs> let me add a humble to that list. <laughs> Let's get going, shall we? The duo hops into the portal as one does. You know, a guy with no lips, he sure speaks pretty well. And off they go into the human world. But wait, it's never that simple, of course not. Given how many creatures had hopped into, in, into it in such a short period of time, the portal had lost its juice. Sloth and Escarbo, Escargo had just enough time to realize something was up. But not enough time to do anything about it. And so, something pretty bad happened. Ah, uh, where are we? Sloth took a look around and realized there was no we. Es e Eskar? Eskar? Where are you? Eskar! You actually you know what? You be the narrator. I'm the narrator? Yeah, because I'm reading basically We're changing everything. mid... Okay. Yeah, that's fine. But no amount of screaming could reach Eskar. For wherever he was, it wasn't here. Oh, crap. What am I going to do? Soft decided it would be the best course of action to run around like a headless chicken. And that's exactly what he did, until he spotted something. It was a dim light a little ways away. So Sloth slowly crept closer to that light. Oh, a pumpkin lantern. How nice. It must be here to guard this house. It's... A human house, I think. So, there's probably humans living inside. Do you want to knock on the door or leave? Uh, I say knock on the door. There might also be candy. And the lights are off. Maybe the humans are out right now? Uh, I really don't want to, but here's my chance. Sloth knocks on the door gently and then hides. No one answers. A good sign, but I can't be too sure. Sloth knocks on the door roughly and hides. Still no one answers. So Sloth figures no one is really home and starts kicking the door in. Well shit, <laughs> time to start breaking and entering. But he doesn't get too far with that. After just a few kicks, someone opens the door. Guess they were home after all. <laughs> well, Erm, um, this is awkward. <laughs> Get on a little patience, will ya? I was already sleeping. Ah! Wait. You're not Valerie. Are you? Uh, uh, huh? No, no. What am I saying? Valerie would be dressed as a princess or something. Say, what are you supposed to be? Er, uh, I'm a nightmare. Oh, a nightmare. That's scary indeed. <laughs> Here you go. The old man hands Sloth some candy. Sloth can't believe his luck. Oh my god! That's the sound effect from Goose Goose Duck! This is exactly what- <laughs> That is in fact the sound effect from Goose yeah. Goose Duck. This is exactly what I was looking for. That's the sound effect from Goose Goose Duck when you win. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I bet you were. How did you know? Say, isn't there- isn't here a little far to be trick-or-treating? The festival is at the town square, isn't it? What festival? Oh, you didn't know about it. Are you new here? Yeah, you could say that. Well, little fella, we usually have a pumpkin festival for Halloween. It's where everyone gathers to celebrate and the kids go trick or treating together. If everyone goes, then why are you here? Why, well, I'm a tad too old for all that ruckus. But you should go to the festival. It's safer. I'm sure you'll find some way to have more candy there than around lone houses like mine. Wait. You're saying there's a lot of candy at this pumpkin festival? You're telling me, a kid, to go unsupervised to this thing? And that's the safer option? Lots and lots of candy. 
just head back to town and follow the lights. All right, I'll head straight over. Hi. Thanks, human. <laughs> Take care, little nightmare. The old man closes the door, and Sloth notices there's a path on the ground. He must have been in too much of a panic to notice before. Following the road, he soon spots bright lights shining through the woods. That has to be the pumpkin festival! Is it the same bright light that we've been looking at for the past, like, ten minutes? Maybe Eskar is there, too. Somehow. Soon, Sloth arrives at Town Square. Even though it's midnight, there's lots of people. Huh, it's not really much of a square. No one seems to notice him. Weird. I thought humans don't like my kind. But uh, that old one was really nice to me. And no one here seems to care. Even though I can tell they see me. Humans were supposed to scream and cry and try to kill us. Was that all a lie? No sooner has he finished that thought when someone attacks him. I knew it was a trap after all. I'll kill ya! Oops, sorry. My bad. Huh? A human girl releases her grip on Sloth and steadies her footing. Oh, she's cute. Thanks for catching me! I like her dress. It's cute. Though she was the one doing the catching. I never worn high heels before. <laughs> what? Yeah, they're harder to walk in than I thought. But my costume looks great. Uh... You can tell what I am, right? A pumpkin. Uh, a human? I'm the Tooth Fairy. What's a Tooth Fairy? Huh? You don't know what a Tooth Fairy is? Really? Is it a type of human? No, no. Or maybe they're kind of like humans, I guess. There's Tooth multiple? Fairies collect teeth. What the? <laughs> Why? I don't know. You get money for them, though. You don't know, even though you are one? Okay, smarty pants. What are you, then? Well, hold on. First, where do the tooth fairies get the money from? Is this some kind of money laundering scheme? Like, I just don't understand. <laughs> it's just a front. <laughs> I'm a nightmare. Is that, like, from a movie or something? No, it's from real life, dipshit. Movie? <laughs> no. I'm just a regular nightmare. Well, that's cool, I guess. My name's Valerie. What's yours? Uh, slow or sloth or... Slough for I don't know. Or yeah, it's pronounced us. You just call me Sloth. But uh, most people call me Tiffany. Okay, Sloth. Wanna hang out? Yeah, uh, sorry. I really need to find some candy and my friend. Ooh, candy! Let's go together. I'm sure we'll find your friend too. She reminds me of Nina. Nina? Yeah, the girl they locked in the box. Oh, stop comparing everything to the game. It's an entirely different game. It's just, you know, you can see it. Sloth thought it might be good to have a kind of like human tooth fairy around. She probably knows the way of the humans. So they went to collect candy together. I'm glad we met. I was just about to go home. Because all my friends did already. I'm telling you, if you want to stay up late, you gotta nap during the day. But did they listen? No! Sucks for them. I'm gonna get... Way more candy than all of them combined. Uh, where is the candy? Huh? You gotta go door to door. Uh, come to think of it, I ain't never seen you before. Did you just move here? I'm just visiting. How do we get the candy? Well, we knock on the doors. Oh, but don't knock on the ones without a pumpkin lantern. Why not? They're not part of the festival. They'll just get mad. Huh, so no pumpkin, no candy. Got it. Let's try Mrs. Bloomstone. She's nice. We might even get full-size candy bars from her. That was always the best houses. Before Sloth could say anything, Valerie is already ringing the doorbell. Wait! I thought you said to knock? Huh? Who cares? Oh my. Trick or treat! Oh, what, what do we have here? You sound like the mom from Andy and Laylee. What the hell? I'm the Tooth Fairy, and he's a nightmare. Well, I better give you some candy fast before you steal my teeth and give me bad dreams. <laughs> That's right. Sloth is beyond confused. The lady's words convey fear, but her demeanor seems delighted. The two of them are clearly threatening her. <laughs> Why the smile? 
Ah, shit. Uh, shoot. Ah, shoot. The ball is empty. Wait just a moment. Ah, tactical retreat. The smile must have been a fake one. <laughs> I told you she's nice. Nice? She just closed the... Sock loses the thought as he spots something from the corner of his eye. A familiar figure, or so he thought. Eskar? Go? Hey, where do you think you're going? Huh? What? Uh... The candy! Miss Bloomstone is just getting it for us. But, my friend? Are they my friend? Candy sloth. <laughs> she makes a good point. And just then, the lady returns, oddly enough. Both of them get some chocolate bars. <laughs> Thanks! And see you later! See you later. Say hello to your mom for me. Rawr. <laughs> just not even rolling the R's. Just like, okay! Bye-bye! As soon as Sloth had secured the candy, he dashes towards the direction he saw Eskar at. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Huh? Uh, where? Huh? huh? Okay. Where? But he came here. Sheesh. Don't take off like that. You saw him too, right? No, I had my eyes on the prize. This thing. Sloth watches in horror as Valerie takes a bite out of the candy bar. What are you doing? Huh? You... You can't eat that? What are you talking about? Of course I can. But... But the void? The what? My spawner. It'll get mad. Oh boy. <laughs> you have those kinds of parents. Hey, you could say <laughs> that again. Uh... Boo. Don't eat the candy. It's all poison and full of tags. No. What the crap? Yeah, exactly. So relax and eat some candy. It's not mine to eat. Yeah, it is. At least eat the chocolate Mrs. Bloomstone gave. She's my mom's friend. I promise it's not tampered with. Watch his trick or treat eat it, once. Eat the chocolate. Well, maybe I can eat one. Yeah, I won't tell. Heh heh. Sloth betrays the void and bites into the chocolate bar. He, he instantly, instantly dies. dies. I'm sorry. It is delicious. It is mm, delicious. Sweet, sweet betrayal. The best thing he ever ate. And then he explodes. Oh. My. God. I need another. I know, right? <laughs> Listen, we're gonna get so much candy, your mom won't even notice if you're missing. It sounded weird to call the Void mom, even though you could say that. The Void was Sloth's mother, father, and god. The Void was his and Eskar's and every other nightmare's creator. It is everything and nothing all at the same time. In fact, the Void was beyond time, beyond existence. The Void is eternity, collapsing into itself. And while it was everything and anything and nothing all at the same time infinitely, I suppose you could call it Mom, if you really wanted to. Sloth, however, did not want to. Uh, hello? Huh? What? Anybody home? Oh, sorry. I got so lost in thought. Huh, okay. No, this is not Sonic. It's a little bit different than Sonic, but it's not quite Sonic, okay? <laughs> it's Sonic. Okay. Chocolate is the flesh of the gods. Yeah, and so are chili dogs. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Ew, that's weird. What? It's not weird. You're weird. No way. Chocolate flesh, you weirdo. Hee <laughs> 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 hee. <laughs> and so the two of them continue their trick or treating. I think you mean my massive fucking tits. Say, Valerie, I've been wondering about something. Okay. Shoot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I keep seeing all kinds of monsters around, but I thought the humans were afraid of scary things like that. Are we playing monsters now? Uh, duh. I mean, huh, I... Are we? All right, then. Let's see. Ooh, once a year a spooky night comes, the All Hallows' Eve, and the scary creature from the realm beyond some creeping and crawling around. Like two fairies? 
<laughs> yes, Snork. like two fairies. The scariest of them all. Anyway, they come. And mm. the only thing Auto. humans can do to appease these demons is to give them candy. You're waiting. You're waiting. Wake up. <laughs> You're waiting. Huh? I see. That's... I guess humans are used to it then. Because they don't seem to mind us. <laughs> yep, yep. They better be nice to us after all. <laughs> or we might play tricks on them. I'm just glad it's like that. I thought humans would kill me. No one kills monsters anymore. Or witches. Or anyone. Really? I heard humans kill each other all the time. They do? Don't they? Valerie looks worried. Maybe she doesn't know that much about humans after all. Well, I've covered wars, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to worry about humans murdering humans anyway. And that's when Sloth turned into Frank West. Yep. Because you're a tooth fairy, not a human. <laughs> I, I guess so. Let's stop talking about that kind of stuff. We got candy to collect. Right. Let's get to it. They visited several houses and get candy from almost all of them. Incredible. This should be plenty enough candy. Now, I only need to find a present and Eskar. Valerie slowly... Va Valerie Va slowly sloughs... Va Va <laughs> Valerie catches sloth marveling at his candy. Marveling. Marveling. <laughs> what do you think? I'm picking some good houses, huh? You are. Do you know all these humans? I guess. Impressive. And they don't care that you're a tooth fairy? <laughs> sure. But I still don't get the teeth part. Why would you want those? It's not like you can stick them in your mouth and start biting things with them. All I know is that tooth fairies give you money for teeth. But like, why though? Maybe they're valuable? Again, where do they get the money from? This is some kind of scheme. Valuable, huh? Yeah, I know some people collect teeth, too. I want to make teeth soup. Like my grandpa. He turns bear teeth into necklaces and stuff. So, uh, do the tooth fairies, like, sell to people like them? Like, I, uh, do you do that? Turn teeth into necklaces? <laughs> Ew, no way! Sloth thinks about teeth. Ew. With a void like a necklace made of teeth. The more he thinks about it, the more he is convinced. Sloth, please, ask where the present. money comes from. I'm begging you. I actually want to know. Where's the money, Lebowski? But no one else would figure to give such a gift. But where to get the teeth? Human mouths. Oh, <laughs> shit. Do you have a lot of teeth? <laughs> huh? Just like she's just like blue screen of deaths. He's like, um, I don't know how to process that question. <laughs> you seem like a skilled collector. You got us all this candy, so I'm sure you're a very good tooth fairy too. Sloth knows you must flatter your target before asking them for a favor. <laughs> well, I sure look convincing. Got the wings and everything. Yes, and the shoes. <laughs> I think I've gotten the hang of them, actually. I haven't tripped in a while. Right. Uh, so you must have quite the collection of teeth. Sure. And you must have all the kinds of nightmare fuel in your pocket. Yeah, actually, want to see? No idea what that is. I don't... He just opens Pandora's box <laughs> and it's like tentacles. No idea what that is. I don't need fuel to cast a spell. Ooh, spells. So you're not only a nightmare, but a wizard, too. What? No, I'm just a nightmare. I can cast a bad dream. That's just common sense. Sure thing, buddy. If you say so. Cool story, bro. And uh, you should see the night terrors Eskar can summon. What are those? You don't want to know. The absolute worst thing you'll ever dream of. Oh, okay. Huh? Anyway, I was just thinking, if you could give me some of your teeth. Are you trying to tell a joke or something? No, I need some teeth. I think they'd make a great present for the void. And I have to bring it a good present or it'll kill me and roast me and eat me and spit me out. You're scaring me a bit. 
don't say weird things like that. What's weird about it? It just is. Um... Come on, we still have houses to visit. Looks like Valerie isn't willing to part with any of her teeth. Yeah, no shit! <laughs> it's understandable. If the teeth are that valuable, it would be stupid to give them away that easily. But now Sloth is sure. A necklace of human teeth is going to be the perfect present. Still, Sloth is a little sad. He thought maybe him and Valerie were becoming friends. He must have thought wrong. It seems like Valerie would be just fine letting the Void eat Sloth. Either way, the two of them decided to look for a place to rest. Ugh, my feet are killing me! Sloth looked at her feet. They didn't look aggressive. <laughs> <sighs> I'm getting a little sleepy. Liz in real life. Oh! Yeah! Maybe that's enough trick-or-treating for tonight. What do you mean, Liz, really? There's so many episodes where you're just like, oh, I'm so tired. It's like all I the am. goddamn time. Yeah. She had it in the line, bro. <laughs> I know, but you were just speaking from the heart. Yeah, I do feel tired. See, I told you. Always. I See? called it. Always. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we have enough candy. Too bad we didn't find your friend. He probably went home early. Huh? What? What do you mean, went home? I mean, it's pretty late. Most kids are home by now. So your friend probably went home too, right? No, he didn't. Probably no. not. I want to know what the star means. Like the star? The red star good means aggressive. Evil. Yeah. Uh, okay. And the blossom means good. I don't think he would have gone home without me. He knows I can't even get home without him. Huh? Why not? Yeah. I don't know how to get back. He's the one who took us here. That's bad. I didn't realize you were lost. I was literally telling you this entire time. I'm not lost. He is. Ah. <sighs> Valerie is very tired. Her feet hurt from wearing big girl shoes all evening. And she ate so much candy she's feeling quite nauseous. Her mom must be worried too. It's way past her curfew. Really all she wants to do is go home. But she can't. She won't. Not until Sloth finds his friend. Ah, uh, all right. Huh? Let's go look for your friend. Really? Yeah, you can't go home without him, right? And I never leave my friends in a pinch. Well, uh... You wouldn't leave me in trouble either, right? Because we're friends. Thanks, Valerie. Always so happy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no problem. But first, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna wash my face and it'll refresh me a bit. Okay, then. I'll be honest. That line is kind of hard to like not deliver Sonic because I just want to go, huh? Okay. <laughs> huh? Okay. <laughs> okay. Valerie walks towards a set of stairs and they lead down toward two doors. Soft follows but is interrupted. Hey, you can't come in here. It's a ladies' room. Ow. Huh? <laughs> Her voice just drops by like five octaves. She's just like, ow. Oh. Just wait here. It'll only be a minute. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's just the more Aaron talks, the more it devolves into Sonic. <laughs> By the end of this, he's going to have blue hair and spikes. <laughs> and pronouns. I mean, <laughs> blue hair and pronouns. And so, Valerie disappears into one of the rooms. Huh, okay. <laughs> Sloth also disappears. Huh, okay. Why, you wonder? Someone appeared from behind and pushed him into the other room. Nah, they just had chili dogs. I ran in there myself. Escar! Finally, I thought it was... <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Finally. <sighs> Finally. I thought that thing would never leave. Where were you? I've been looking all over. I was tailing you, looking for a moment to rescue you from that human. Now be quiet. We'll wait until she leaves. Ah! What are you talking about? What human? What are you, stupid? That human you were just with. A realization dawns on Slop. What if it dusks on him? He's like, wait, wait a, a minute. minute. Who are you? The kazoo kid? Yeah. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> She's not a human. She's a tooth fairy. Wait, then what was the realization? What? I would assume that the realization was, oh, wait uh, a minute. That's a human dress as a tooth fairy. Shh, just, I think just he was question. realizing she he was talking about her. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What? 
<coughs> Sorry. A tooth fairy sneezes all over his open nose. <laughs> oh! Ew! A tooth fairy. God damn it! You know I have exposed nostrils. <laughs> I can't clean this thing very well. Literally. I, can't, I literally cannot see. My snot is red too. You see all that red dripping all over my bandana? Oh my god. That's just ketchup. I was eating some fries. <laughs> I don't have a, I don't not have a mouth or anything. <laughs> oh literally. God. Anyway. I tried eating it through my bandana okay, like the people during okay, COVID when they okay, ate through the mask. Okay, children. Read the line. And you're not being very COVID conscious yourself, are you? <laughs> literally covering everything except your mouth. A tooth fairy. They're kind of like humans, but I mean, they're not really humans, okay? Is that what she told you? Huh? Listen, slow sloth. That's <laughs> slow <human>. sloth? <laughs> Everyone here is a human, including you, including me. Including the sloths that we found in the forest earlier today. I was like deep into the rainforest. You don't even want to know how long it took me to get here. I, I was just reminding, or I was remembering this, the meet the spy from TF2. It could be you! It could be me! <laughs> How'd you know? I saw lots of different creatures around earlier. That's because you're lazy and didn't look properly. Those were all humans in costumes. They're pretending. Mm. Well, why would they? I don't know. It's a game, I think. If you're in a costume and knock on the doors with the pumpkin lanterns near them, you get candy. That's what I've been- uh, that's what I've been able to gather. I got candy that way, too. Think, think, brain blast! I know, I saw you, and I was so scared, you idiot. What were you thinking? They, the humans didn't mind me. Yeah, that's because, that's only because they thought you were a human in a costume. But if one of them found out the truth, you would have been dead. I can't take my eyes off you for a second. Don't ever do that again. Oh, easy for you to say. You have two eyes, motherfucker. <laughs> well, I can only see half of what you can. <laughs> it doesn't matter. See with your eyes, not with your mouth. I found you and you're safe. D do you ever think about how difficult it is li living like me? I don't even have depth perception, okay? I, I just you got us the candy. call a fish with no eyes. Psh, a psh. <laughs> we call a deer with no eyes. No idea. Anyway, I got us the fucking candy. Okay. Sloth shows Eskar his candy collection, and just like that, all the anger and worry in Eskar's face washes away. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You sure did it. That's incredible, Sloth. Heh. <laughs> yes, it is. <sighs> Praise me more. Whoa. The Void's gonna love this. As long as we get a good present, we're set. And that, uh, I know just the thing. Oh? A necklace made of teeth. Teeth are apparently valuable. Assuming that wasn't another lie. A tooth necklace, huh? This car thinks about it. That's actually a pretty good idea. I can see the void liking something like that. Right? Right. Get that girl over here. We'll pull out her teeth and go. What? Hers? But she's the one who helped me get all this candy. Which honestly should be a good enough gift. I mean, I, come on. And also, she's also been the one who's been lying to you this whole time about being a fairy or whatever. No, disagree. 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 Listen, Eskar. You said the humans are in costumes, and it's a game. Correct. Maybe she thought that I'm in the game too? There you go. Now you're cooking with gas. And, propane. And she doesn't know that I'm really a nightmare. God damn it, Bobby. Why are you touching the propane like that? Dad. Don't touch my purse! I don't know you! But Dad, I really wanna I really wanna sensualize the propane. That much is obvious. She'd scream for help otherwise. So I'm thinking she didn't mean to lie to me. She was telling me that she's a tooth fairy because that's the game. Hmm. That's not the point. The point is she'll want you dead when she finds out you're not human. But maybe not. Uh, she doesn't seem to mind a lot of things. So uh, maybe she won't mind me. Or you, or nightmares in general. I worry about you, Sloth. Huh? You're gonna get hurt. Or killed. Or both at the same time. Sloth? Ah! Uh, Valerie! What are you doing in here? Get out of the men's bathroom, you fucking wench! Sorry. Sorry. I was just worried since I didn't see you. Oh! Is this the friend you were talking about? Yeah. This is Eskar. Nice to meet you, Eskar. I'm Valerie. Hmm. Hi. Oh, right. I'm not supposed to be here. 
Sorry, I'll wait outside. Sloth? Yeah? You need those teeth. I... I'll figure something out. We don't really have the time. The birthday party is going to start soon. Let's just get out of here for now. <laughs> there you are. I'm glad I found your friend, Sloth. You found your friend. Or, I'm glad you found your friend, Sloth. I found him. It was all me. <laughs> Shut up. That means we can all go home now. Praise me. <laughs> oh, I I guess so. <laughs> Don't be sad. We can hang out again tomorrow. Probably not. Well, where do you live, anyway? We can walk you there. Thanks. That makes me glad, actually. I didn't want to walk alone this late at night. Say, uh, Valerie. Yeah? Are you afraid of nightmares? I guess they could be pretty scary. Huh. But they're not all scary. I, I, I'm i not scary. <laughs> sure. I wouldn't mind a nightmare as small as you. Don't be so sure. Hmm? Stop it, Eskar. Oh, all he's right. floating. I live here, though. He's floating. Oh, yeah. I, I, oh, I, I, I noticed that. I live through here. Thanks for walking me. Before you go. What? Yeah? Don't you want to see what Sloth really looks like? If you're going to be hanging out later? That's... Ah, that's all right. I haven't seen your face yet. No, that's okay. I'll just wear this outfit every time. <laughs> What's that? Come now, Sloth. Whoa, like okay, a little bit of Trump came out in that voice. It's oh, okay. Like uh, Come on now, Sloth, <laughs> okay? It's honestly, you gotta show all right, yourself. Alright, 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 shut up. You can't build a friendship on lies. I haven't been lying. She's been lying. No. I've been honest this whole time. What are you guys talking about? Take the hood off, Sloth. No! Uh, what the hell, Asgar? Stop it! You don't want to do it because you know I'm right. Quit it! Valerie doesn't know what to do. Why are the two of them suddenly fighting? Should she try to interfere? But before she can decide, Eskar manages to pull off Sloth's hoodie. Oh. Oh. He's just an eyeball. Uh, uh. What on earth? Um. Well, human. Huh? Isn't Sloth a gross, scary monster? Gross! <laughs> the look. Eskar, you think I'm gross? I don't, but the human does. Don't you? Mmm. You do? Well, maybe a little. Oh. See, I told you. But it's not really scary. Huh? It's just... Doesn't that, like, hurt? Not having the rest of your head? It doesn't hurt. Are you in an accident or something? No, no, I, I was always like this. I woke up Do like you this. you get it yet? We're not humans like you, so Sloth can't be your friend. Why not? Oh, she's so wholesome. Ugh. Because humans are afraid of nightmares? Yeah, they kill us. I won't kill you. And I won't tell anybody your nightmares either. Really? Wait, what? Really? Yeah! We can be friends just fine. Really? Oh, he's so happy. <laughs> really? You hear this that, Eskar? This is so much more wholesome than the other game. <laughs> the other game is just well, about murder. Well, that murder, game was cannibalism, incest, just fucking every bad We're thing. We're over here like, look at this wholesome little nightmare dude. Anyway, you hear that, Eskar? But no one wants to fight over candy scabs. Okay. Anyway. See, and Liz, you actually get to voice like the most wholesome character. Instead of, like, the least oh. wholesome character. Yeah, I'm a, I much like this Valerie character. I feel like something horrible is going to happen to her. Okay. Ugh, whatever. But that doesn't solve our problem, Sloth. What problem? We need to bring the Void a present. A tooth necklace. Or it'll kill us and roast us and eat us, and then it'll spit us out because we all taste bad anyway. Uh. See? You're scared after all. Give it a rest. The Void is scary for us, too. Go home, human. Nightmares will deal with this nightmare problem. You said you needed a tooth necklace. Correct. I know where to get some. So you are a tooth fairy after all. <laughs> so <Sloth>. cute. <laughs> no, I'm not. 
But my grandpa makes tooth necklaces as a hobby. We can ask him for one. Hmm, where is this so-called grandpa? What he lives is in the woods. a Follow grandpa? Follow me, is that the guy we just You're met? I'm pretty sure it's the guy we just fucking met. It is the guy we met. Hey, I've been here before. Oh, this is my grandpa's house. He's probably asleep by now, but... Valerie is about to knock on the no, door. No, no, no. Oh, let me Valerie. let me show you how it's done. He You're just right. Starts kicking it down again. He was like, "Is she a princess or something?" She's probably like princess or something cute like that. Stop. Huh? We can't be seen by even more humans. He's already seen me though. But he hasn't seen me, and I'd like to keep it that way. Mm, all right. Well, you're a fucking weirdo. Then go hide. I'll bring you some necklaces. All right. The two nightmares slink away, and Valerie knocks on the door. An old man emerges from behind the door. Trick or treat! Valerie, my goodness. Why are you still out and about? Do you have any idea what time it is? I'm trick or treating. No, you are not. Come inside. I'm calling your mother. Mm. She's not coming. Just give her a moment. Yeah, dude. Just give her a fucking minute. It's been several moments. Okay, well, moment is it. not a quantifiable- She was pretending to not be scared. So she could hide inside this cabin. I think I saw humans with weapons inside. She must be telling that man about us. And as soon as they spot us, they'll shoot us. Eskar, oh my good lord. I think you mean, oh my good void, I'm um, sorry. Oh my Jesus, who doesn't exist yet. Because it's a different universe. Why can't you see that Valerie is a nice human? I admit, she seems nice. But humans are rarely what they seem. Ah, you can be so... She'll come out any moment now. So, just wait. We don't have much time left. Any moment now. They wait and wait. And then, the lights in the cabin turn off. What? Why'd they turn the lights off? Looks like the humans went to sleep. Or they turned off the lights so their own reflections won't block the wind, the view outside. So now they can shoot us better. They're not gonna shoot us for crying out look And then, like, the fucking bullet hole starts forming. Fine. So they went to sleep. I don't understand. Did Valerie forget that we were waiting for her? Well? Well, what? The man was angry she was out this late. So he probably told Valerie to stay inside until morning. Oh. Why would he do that? That would be my guess. Slop, you fucking idiot! Or then they're gonna shoot! Enough of that! Either way, we're hosed. We need to find a present right now. Or we'll be late for the birthday party. Curses. I'm gonna peek in through the windows. No, you're not. Seriously, this they might shoot you. Come on! That man already saw me and didn't shoot. He gave me candy. You wait here. I'll go take a look. Be careful, Slop. Sloth peeks in through the window. All he can see is curtains. So like a proper creep, he tries another window. <laughs> and this one is slightly open. Sloth! Valerie is peeking out the window. Valerie! Have you been captured? What? No. But I can't come out anymore. My grandpa told me to stay the night. And my mom's gonna pick me up in the morning. Well, what about the necklace? Don't worry. I found two finished necklaces. Which one do you want? Uh, what's the difference? One has wolf teeth, the other bear. Oh, what are those? What are what? Bears and wolves. You don't have a human tooth necklace? No, they're animal teeth. Huh? What kind of animals are they? Uh, bears around here, like, hmm. I don't know, actually. I've only seen one in the distance. But people say you absolutely can't go near a mother bear with cubs. They will definitely kill you to protect the kids. Huh? What about the wolves? Those move around in packs. They hunt together. They're like really strong, big dogs, kind of. And what are dogs? Just wolves are dangerous, okay? Wolves will gang up on you and tear you to shreds. Oh, so wolves hunt in packs and will tear you apart. And bears will maul you to death if you go near their kids. Right, so which necklace would your mom like better? Hmm. Uh-oh, <laughs> let's save. I'm going uh, with bear, because it's motherly, I guess? Yeah, that makes sense. The the bear one sounds good. The bear one sounds the good. The bear one. <laughs> the bear one. <laughs> the void is our parent. <laughs> no. Oh, God. He had a, like, he's like slight. Now he's Oops, going through my puberty. Dad. The void is our parent. and kills things, too. Like the bear mom. 
<coughs> Sorry. Uh, maybe the Void will appreciate the bear's gentle brutality. The, uh... The what? Maybe I didn't explain it very well. I'll take the bear necklace. Thanks. Okay. But my grandpa says this world is give and take. So he's probably going to make me do some gardening for him in exchange for the necklace. So you better come and help me out, okay? Sure. As long as it's out here and away from the humans. Yeah. We'll just tell Grandpa you're a weirdo who always wears a Halloween costume. <laughs> All right. I hope Eskar comes to help us, too. Yeah. He is very cautious, but I'm sure he'd really like to be friends with you, too. Ooh, I hope your mom likes a necklace. Me, too. I'll tell you how it goes. I died. <laughs> if I don't die, that is. Which I will. Valerie is too sleepy to keep up with the conversation. She just nods, half asleep. Good night, Valerie. Thanks for the help. And then they cast a doodly, do, dubious little nightmare spell on her. Let me touch you lightly with my eyeball. What? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Just boop right on the forehead. Good night. See you later. All oh, little, sorry. Wrong voice. <laughs> like all the little slime off the eyeball is just on her forehead. <laughs> Have good dreams. Good night. See you later. Valerie closes the window and Sloth returns to Escar. Escar, go. Ta-da! I want Goose Goose Dog. <laughs> nice. Is that the necklace? It doesn't look like human teeth to me. Right. It's not. Let me tell you about the animals in the human world. Ugh, whatever. Tell me on the way. We can't be late. Sloth tells Eskar about wolves and bears as the two make their way to the birthday party. They had hoped to visit home first, but there was no more time. So straight to the party it is. It's, it's my, my birthday. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> my, my birthday. My birthday. Presents and candy. candy. Give, Give them, them to, to me, me now. now. Who, Who goes, goes first? You two. I, I see you have, have a lot, lot of candy. candy. But what, what about, about my, my present? present? We got you a bear tooth necklace. What the crap is a bear? One of the beasts of the human world. Ooh, what, what kind, kind of beast? beast? Tell it, Sloth. Bears are fearsome. They maul anyone who comes near them. Nice, nice. nice. Especially mother bears. They are fearsome protectors of their children. No one is allowed to hurt their young. The mother bear will gore anyone to death who comes near. The Void takes notice of all the little nightmares listening intently. The nightmares seem impressed with the bears. The Void thinks about that, and also fancies itself a loving protector now. It asks the nightmares if they will think it is akin to a bear. The nightmares say yes, of course, even though it's not quite true, though the Void is fearsome. Indeed! I am, I am very loving, loving and, and very brutal. brutal. Isn't, Isn't that, that right? right? Absolutely! Absolutely! Yes, absolutely. You are the most fearsome and the most loving parent. Yes, yes I, I am. I am a loving yet, yet violent, violent protector, protector of my children. children. Celebrate with me, my, my children! children. You are all under my loving care and safe. All the nightmares cheer. It is a true cheer this time, so it is extra joyous. The Void likes this. There were no killing, no roasting, no eating, and no spitting out any of the nightmares that night. Yay! The game is over! It was a good, sweet, cute, short game. No, the I'm Void's kidding. whims only last so long. So surely it'd be nothing but chaos next year, too. But the nightmares are hopeful. They hope that if they keep praising the Void as a protector, maybe it'll keep acting as such. For now, the Void revels in it. So for now, everyone is happy. The next day, Sloth is in a great mood. The game is not ended You're yet. You're goddamn right I am. Eskar, could you open me one portal to the human world? Please? Elise? You're really going back, huh? Yes! I promised to help Valerie pay for the necklace. I think we'll do gardening. Whatever that is. I guess I'll come too. Uh. 
Huh? Really? I mean, what else do we even do in this world anyway? Not dishes, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Well, you need me to open the portal for you once we come home again. Plus, I also owe her for the necklace, and I need to make sure you won't get caught by the humans. Right, right. Shut up, or I won't open the portal. <laughs> okay. Come on, that, that one did not sound close. I didn't Oops. get to read it. Valerie will be happy to see us. I need a longer coat, long enough to reach the ground, so that humans don't notice I'm levitating, that I've been doing this in the entire time. Right. Whoa. Oh, he's a little uglier than I was expecting him to be. And so, Sloth and Valerie and Eskar became good friends. Valerie taught Sloth and Eskar all about the human world. Sloth tried to tell Valerie about the nightmare world too, but it scared her. Eskar, on the other hand, was still scared of humans. He was fine with Valerie though. The three of them had a lot of fun hanging out. And who knows what the future has in store for the trio. But for now, at least they were all happy. Happy end. Huh, okay. I guess next time we'll uh, do, do the bad all the ending. Do negative ending, yeah. It's the same thing next year. Let's just skip to the, all the options. Oh, let's leave. Humans could be dangerous. I need to find Eskar. He'll know what to do. I thought we were going to do a separate episode for this. No, it's do all one video. Sloth notices the house has a path leading up to it. Or perhaps the path was leading away from the house. Either way, Sloth figures Eskar might have seen the path too. So he decides to follow it. It doesn't take long to reach what appears to be a town. Crap. That place must be crawling with humans. But it's probably also where they keep all the candy. Maybe if I'm really careful, no one will see me. Sloth sneaks around town. There are pumpkins and lights everywhere. There's even some candy on the ground that's been stepped on. Such disrespect! I can't bring the void nasty candy like this. It'll kill me! And it'll roast me and eat me and spit me out because I taste bad anyway. Just like this dirty floor candy. But the fact that this candy is here is proof that I'm on the right track. Ah, another one is coming. Sloth hides behind some trash. There's way too many humans. That's not right. I thought they were supposed to sleep at night. What lies? Excuse me. Ah! The human places something inside the trash can. Sorry, didn't mean to scare ya. And just like that, the human walks away. What? What just happened? The human. She saw me, but didn't do anything? Wait, the trash! Sloth peeks into the trash and picks up whatever the human put in there. A candy wrapper? And what's this? Gum? He pokes at the gum and it sticks to his fingers. Ew! Who knows what he expected to happen. But as he struggles to get the gum off his fingers, plenty of other humans see him too. And not one of them seems to care. What is going on? The humans don't scream at all. I'm sure they see me. That one even spoke to me. They're supposed to be afraid and try to kill me. Feeling brave after being ignored, Sloth finds his way into the town square. The situation is no different there. Wow. No one cares at all. So, that stuff about humans hating nightmares, was that all a lie? No sooner he had finished that thought, someone attacks him. I knew it was a trap after all, I'll kill you, and we've already seen this part before. Don't you dare! I can't! It's for the void. Your loss. It's not a loss at all. I... I'm glad to give it all my candy. Wait, your parents eat the candy you collect? Yes? That's messed up. They're old enough to buy their own. The void is not messed up. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to insult your folks. Hmm. Um, I guess it's different for tooth fairies? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Are we cool? Yeah, sure. Anyway, I guess Eskar wasn't here after all. But at least I know he's around. Let's keep trick-or-treating. I'm sure we'll run into him again. Right! And so, the two of them continue the trick-or-treating. Say, Valerie, I've been wondering about something. Okay, 
Shh, boom. All right. <laughs> Human mouths. Right. Everyone whose mouths Sloth had seen open has teeth inside so far. Except the old grandpa, which he hasn't seen yet. Hey, Valerie. What is it? How do you get the teeth out? Uh, what? Well, when you collect the teeth, how do you get them out? Like... Is there a trick to it? Or maybe a treat? I don't collect teeth. What the heck? But you said... Oh, you mean the tooth fairy thing. Once your tooth falls out, you put it under your pillow. The tooth fairy comes and takes the tooth, leaving behind some money. Your parents seriously never told you about it? The void only ever tells Sloth what it wants next. So, does that mean that the teeth just fall out on their own? I think so. Then a new one grows in its place. Well, that's convenient. But it only happens, like, twice in your life. <laughs> so, humans have infinite teeth. I mean, they stop falling out at some point. Infinite teeth glitch. You just have a bucket full of teeth. Sell them on a black market. <laughs> Valerie then remembers her grandmother, who does not have teeth anymore. No, wait, I guess they don't, but they stop growing back eventually. You're like, matter cannot be created or, des or destroyed? Bet! And just, like, pulls your teeth out infinitely. Huh? <laughs> that's not so convenient, after all. Yeah, kind of scary, actually, and gross. Sloth didn't think it was particularly gross, though it was a hassle. He didn't have the time to be sitting around waiting for humans' teeth to fall out. He needed some now. Either way, the two of them decided to look for a place to rest. No, he didn't! No way! Eskar wouldn't do that! There's no way he'd leave me behind here! He's my best friend. Okay, but we haven't seen him. There's not a lot of people left at the festival, even. He's here somewhere. We need to find him. How old is he? What does that have to do with anything? If he was alone, someone might have taken him to the police. Or maybe a really bad person took them away. Eskar is too smart for that. No one will take him anywhere. Then where is he? That's what I need to find out. Mm. What? Valerie is very tired. Her feet hurt from wearing big girl shoes all evening, and she ate so much candy she's feeling nauseous. Yeah, but are you okay? I'm okay. We'll take a quick look around. And if it's hopeless, we can get my mom. She'll know what to do. Sloth doesn't like the sound of that at all. Who knows what a Tooth Fairy mom might do to a nightmare. She might not be as nice as Valerie. But as long as they find a scar soon, it should all be okay. Right. Let's go. But first, I'm exhausted. Dun, 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 dun. This Urgri. You. You're probably right. Probably. I'm always right. Okay, well, yeah, but... Come on, tell me one instance where I wasn't right, I dare you. Ah, uh, right fucking now? I don't have any, but... Bring that girl here. Could Eskar be right? He is often right about most uh, it things. It says most, so we know a time where he was right. Still, somehow, Sloth thinks that he might not be right about this one. But that's probably just wishful thinking. Oh my god, there you are! Yeah. This is gonna be so bad. They're gonna rip her teeth out. Yeah, this actually goes that you direction. You should have told me you were gonna use the restroom. I mean, I figured as much, but it was still freaky to find you gone. Right. Sorry. Are you okay? Wait, where's your candy? Oh no, did something happen? You're. Huh? You're not a real tooth fairy, are you? Mm hmm. <laughs> What is that? Is that why you're sad? Uh... Tell me you believed I was a real thing the whole time. How old are you? Tooth fairies don't exist. <laughs> so, you're just a human? Of course, dummy. <laughs> why is she laughing? She admits she's been lying this whole time. And then she just laughs. It breaks Sloth's heart into itty-bitty pieces. Something cold grabs a hold of his heart, or, well pieces. Humans are like this, huh? But seriously, Sloth, are you okay? Eskar was right. He spoke the truth. Eskar has always been right. And he has always been true. Actually, I think I dropped my, uh, my necklace. In the toilet? Oh boy. 
Yeah. Can you help me get it? I don't know if you should get it at this point. It's important. Uh, well, maybe if we're to fish it out into a plastic bag. Which one did you drop it into? Uh, that one, I think. This one? Valerie opens one of the stall doors. Trick or treat. Ah! Escar jumps out of the stall and grabs Valerie. She screams and struggles so much that Escar loses his grip on her. But there is nowhere to run. Sloth is blocking her way out of the stall. And while she is trying to push Sloth, Escar grabs her again. She keeps kicking and scratching and punching as the two wrestle her head into the toilet. Oh no! Oh. Why did they bring her head? Valerie keeps flailing and panicking. The way that the background just keeps like fading, like oh. Her struggling works against her, and soon some of the water gets into oh, her lungs. Oh man! This causes her to gasp for air, but there is no air, only more water. Oh no! She passes no. out. No, Valerie, no, no! I'm glad we got the good ending first. No, Valerie. Wow. Did she finally die? I don't know. Man, she was so strong. Good thing there was two of us. Shut up. Get the damn teeth and let's get out of here. Wow, since when did you start talking like that to me? What? Using words like damn and hell? I also use the word bitch occasionally. <laughs> right now, obviously. <laughs> I want to animate that. Well, I also use the word bitch occasionally. <laughs> well, I don't like it, so you can stomp right now, too. Well, I don't like your fucking face. That's right. I said fuck. The teeth, Eskar. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. The two of them try to pull her teeth out with their hands, but it does nothing. Eventually, they resolved using a broken floor tile piece laying around. No! 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 Oh, um, they no! They managed to get um, out a few of her teeth. I had to take a second to process messy. that. I was like, oh, shit. For crying out loud. This is way harder than it needs to be. Yeah, I wish we had, like, claws or something. Shh. Huh? I, I didn't say anything. They hear footsteps. Someone is coming down the stairs. I definitely didn't say anything. I'm not talking right now. I do not have a voice. You cannot hear me. Ah, uh, humans? Let's get out of here. The two dash out at that instant with just a few teeth in hand. On the stairs, they pass by some man who appears to be intoxicated. So they're not too worried about them being seen. They become, however, extremely worried after the man enters the restroom. The man is screaming for help, and an ambulance, and for the police, and for God too, why not? And suddenly all kinds of humans start gathering. As Eskar and Sloth run into the woods, Sloth takes one last look back. The humans are scurrying about trying to help Valerie, and for a brief moment, Sloth thinks he hears her and looks back at him. But that couldn't be, could it? Ah, just open already. Eskar is summoning the portal. The humans will be here any minute. That was true. As many things out of Eskar's mouth were, while most people were present focused on Valerie, there were some who saw the two of them. Surely they were going to send some people after them. Think these teeth will be enough? They're gonna have to be. It's open. Come on. A successful retreat. Phew. Home at last. Yeah. Ugh. I'm beat. How's the candy? It's fine. Some of them fell while you were running. But we still have more than enough. Good. I'm gonna turn these teeth into a necklace now. Thanks. I'll find us some clean clothes. We can't go to the birthday party covered in blood and toilet water. It's disrespectful. The void would kill us and roast us and eat us and- Eat us? Even though we were marinated in toilet water? Haha, <laughs> fine. Just kill us and roast us then. Oh, aren't we lucky. Huh. Cheer up, Sloth. I'm not sad or anything. Just worried if we'll make it on time. We'll make it just fine as long as we leave soon. But there's still a few extra minutes to cry on my shoulder if you need to. I'm telling you, I'm fine. Now stop bothering me. I'm making art here. <laughs> With the necklace crafted, they finish cleaning up. Now all that's left is the moment of truth. The birthday party begins. Here is a poem about it. 
It's the Void's birthday. Our friends arrive on time. They have a present in tow and candy, oh, so fine. They have a tooth necklace in the box with a pretty bow on top. And they have fear inside their bellies, tying their guts into a knot. Wow, what a great piece of literary art that... Literary. What a piece of literary art that literary, was. Literary, literary, <laughs> literary. Literary. Anyway, back to the birthday. Librarian? Nah, librarian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my, my birthday. birthday. All, All my children, my children are, are here, here on, on my, my birthday. birthday. Now hand over, over the, the candy. candy. Give, Give me, me my presents. presents. The Void opens a present given by the unlucky Nightmare who is closest to it. It's a collection of beautiful red candles. They're crafted into various shapes. What, what is, is this? this? Did, Did I ask for this? I got candles last year! I don't, I don't want, want them again. again! The Nightmare starts promising he'll give a better present. He says he'll go find one right now. But it is not enough. Oh. The void crushes him and throws him into the Vaughn fire. The Vaughn fire? And eats him and spits him out. Guess he tasted bad. Like all of them do, anyway. Next! Next! It is Sloth Sineskar's turn now. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! We are so fucked. Oh, oh what's what is this? this? He's got a hand. The Void observes a necklace while munching on their candy collection. Seriously, what, what the, the crap, crap is, is this? It, it's a necklace made of human teeth. It's very rare. And handcrafted with love, blood, and tears. And toilet water. I mean, when you think about it, there are like 8 billion people in the world, so 8 billion times like 20, uh, yeah, I... It's pretty rare. You know, the amount of teeth that exists in the world, I just, I don't know what to tell you. Hmm. I see. Well, does it suit me? Every single nightmare in the room starts screaming compliments at the top of their lungs. <laughs> I, suppose I suppose it does. What, what a neat little, little present. present. Next! And just like that, the two nightmares survive. The bo the the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Butcher just walks in. He's like, "What the fuck is this? What the fucking shit is this? I'm gonna fucking shoot this motherfucker." Fucking diabolical. I love how he's a leaf texture. Yes. 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 It was Sorry, a happy was... ending for them. <laughs> I thought I was reading it all at the same time again. Not for Valerie, though. No, Valerie! The humans Valerie. managed to save her, and while she's back in her mother's safe, loving arms. But in her heart... in But in her heart of hearts, there will always be fear, always a tinge of sadness. So for her, this was not a happy ending. Anyway, if you ignore poor Valerie and only look at it from the nightmare's point of view, everything is just fine. Well, at least for now, it's the same thing every year, after all. Bad end. Poor Valerie. At least she's not horribly mutilated. So is there like a um, bad end and like a good end and that's just it? Or Secret neutral ending? End, like... we'll, we'll look at, we'll see if the wolf teeth make any difference. Oh yeah, you're right. Just skip through it. We present to you a wolf tooth necklace. And, and what, what are, are these wolf, wolf creatures? creatures? They are fierce hunters. They roam in packs, and they tear their prey to shreds. Ooh, Ooh I, I am very, very fierce, fierce myself. This, this necklace fits me nicely. Necklace might not be the right word. The void is much too magnificent to have a neck so small, after all. But all the nightmares praise the void on how well it suits it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I, I am akin, akin to, to a wolf, and, and that, that makes you my, you my pack. pack. So, so celebrate, celebrate with me, my pack. pack. Eat candy, eat candy, tear it to shreds. Everyone eats some candy, and more presents are given to the void. But unlike previous years, there was no killing, roasting, eating, or spitting out any of the nightmares that night. The void fancy them all a pack now. It had planned brewing in its fearsome mind. Yes, we, we should, should hunt, hunt together. together. 
Perhaps the human world be a good, good place, place, to, place to, start to start with. The next day, Sloth was in a great mood. Skip. That's oh. it. I guess that is just still a good, good ending. ending. But, I mean, that ending is not quite as good because now uh, we're all just killing the other humans. But, but you know, I mean, we got the, the good, good ending, you know, right off the bat. So it's a good sign. Poor Valerie yeah. in the bad ending. <laughs> I feel bad. Yeah, it's like, you know, we're friends, but, like, we're going to kill all the other, you know, members of your species. So. This could be one of those, like, the <laughs> you were nice to the robots before the robot situation. And the robots situation. spare you. Yeah, exactly. But you live in an empty world now. Well, anyways, very cool game. I really enjoyed it. What did you guys think? Very of? nice. It was okay. Very wholesome. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I mean, Andy and Lele is anyway. like the goat from Nemly so far. But um, Well, we have like six more Nemly games to play. Hell yeah. If you guys want to see more Nemly, let us know. Which I'm sure you guys do. I mean, th that's a lot of you. That's like the majority of you, so... 90 what is it like 8,000 subscribers worth of you yeah there's definitely a lot of people that subbed just and are probably waiting for Andy Lele chapter 3 so if you are one of those people um, I hope that this held you over a little bit well thank you so much for everyone for watching Eyeball. we appreciate you watching this video and if you want to help us even more click the subscribe button leave a comment and then at the same time click a little description uh, and click on the link that says Merch. join discord Join our, merch. Dis join our Discord community, where we host a bunch of extra stuff that people wouldn't normally see. And if you even want to get even more perks, become a become a member of the YouTube channel, where you'll be able to get extra exclusive behind the scenes action. And you would also get to see five, uh, not Five Nights at Freddy's. Fuck. Uh, you'll be able to see five, uh, Fan Fiction Friday, and we'll be reading fan fictions that are sometimes really bad. Aside from that. We do have merch at youtube.com slash at bsmb slash store. So go over there. The Aaron, show them the cap. Okay. There you go. And it's on yeah, the screen cool. right now. I'm showing you guys. And the hoodie. Do it right now. I'm wearing the hoodie I right dare now, you. actually. No balls. And thank you to all of our YouTube members. They make this possible. If you want to join and get your name shown here, hit the join button or the link in the description. And thank you to our gold tier member, The Pinky Life. If you want to be shouted out too, Select the gold peeps tier in our membership tiers. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. One, two, three.